At this point, I think we have a good enough foundation when it comes to working with Postgres. We're able to successfully query a database, insert new rows, delete rows, and update rows. So I think it's time we finally started uh, to go back to our code and figure out how we can actually work with a database within a Python or a fast API application. But before we do that, I want to do a little bit of cleanup. So uh, with our database, we no longer need our products table. So what you can do is you can go ahead and delete it. So you can just right click and then hit uh, delete or drop. Uh, technically, if you don't want to delete this and you want to keep it uh, for now, just for reference, you don't have to delete your table. It's not going to impact anything else. So you can keep it, but I'm going to go ahead and delete it because we don't actually need it anymore. So we'll just do that, hit yes, and then it's going to delete that and we should no longer have tables. And I'm also going to move over to another machine. So uh, when we go to the other machine, you will see a whole bunch of other databases, but those are all databases from my other project. Make sure you just focus on the fast API database. All right, I'm back over to my new machine. You'll see that if I uh, take a look at my database, there's going to be a whole bunch of other databases but I've got my main fast API database. So that's what we're going to be working on. Don't look at any of these other ones. And within here, it's going to be pretty much empty. I've got no tables. And so we're going to go ahead and create our table for our uh, social media application. So, uh, you know, we've been working with posts, so I think it makes sense to create a table for posts. And before we do that, we have to figure out exactly what are the columns for our specific table. And to do that, I think it's best to actually take a look at what our application looks like at the moment. And so if we actually take a look at a structure of a post, we know that it's going to have a title. We know it's going to have a content. Uh, we're going to, we know it should have a um, attribute called publish to determine if it's published or not. We're going to get rid of this rating. That was just for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to remove that for now. So it should have a title, content, published. And like any other item uh, when it comes to a database, uh, we're going to have an ID column as well so that we can, we can uniquely identify each entry. And then we're also going to have a created ad field to see uh, to track when the specific post was added to the database. So we've got essentially five columns. And then once we have that, we can go ahead and just do what we did before. We can go to tables, we can hit create table. And then we're going to call this table post because it represents our social media posts. And then we'll go to the column section and start defining our columns. The first one's going to be our ID column. And so with our ID, we want to do serial. So this is going to cause it to be an integer that automatically increments for us. And then that's going to be our primary key as it was before. We'll add in another column for title. This is going to be a varying character or character varying. Not null is going to be set to true. We can't, we don't want to be able to create a post without a title. Uh, then we're going to have a column called content. I believe that's what we called it here. Content. Yep. Uh, once again, this is going to be a uh, character varying. And once again, this is going to be not null. Uh, then we're going to have a published column. And this is going to be a Boolean. Uh, this is also going to be not null. However, I'm going to provide a default value. So if I do leave it blank, it's going to default to true. And then finally, we're going to create the created at column. And this is going to be a timestamp with time zone. This is also going to be not null. And then just like we did before with our products, we're going to add a constraint so that it's going to be uh, now. So it's going to grab the current time whenever we add this entry and it's going to automatically add it to that column. And so at this point, we've got our tables defined. We can go ahead and hit save. If we right click on posts and then go to view and edit data, we should have essentially what is an empty database. And for now, uh, we know how to insert data. We can do it either through SQL or we can just do it to here. I'm just going to do it through here just because it's a little bit quicker for now. So I'm just going to say this is my first post. And the content is, uh, we'll say, some um, interesting stuff. So just go ahead and just create a couple of posts. And then I'm going to add my second post. All right, and then we can just hit save. And so now we have two posts in our database, so we can start working with that. 